Hey guys, this is Strawberry here, and today I'm going to show you how to make the Loom Minecraft Enderman. And this idea is from Elegant Fashion 360, but I have changed it up a little bit for the legs. So, yeah, and I give credits to Elegant Fashion 360. And um, this is probably... I would say intermediate level design, but you will probably have to know how to make the triple single uh, bracelet. But this is the Enderman, and you don't have to make him this tall if you don't want to. But this is going to go in my Minecraft series, and I have a skeleton with his little bow and arrow. Where is the bow and arrow? Okay, <laughs> there's his little bow and arrow. Don't want him without it. Although, yeah, it's a bad thing. Then I have my mini zombie, even though my zombie looks like a little, it just looks so short. And I have my Steve with his diamond pickaxe. Still have the pickaxe on from the um, pickaxe video. And then I have my other pickaxes that he has. Then we have the evil spider. And then you can make some like string fake string so when you hit the spider he'll drop off string so here's our little spider I have a torch for him so he doesn't perceive so he doesn't have to go in the night without any light then my favorite the creeper I love creepers I don't know why they're evil but I like creepers if you exp here's a trick make a creeper follow you but instead of, so stay there for like a few seconds. Then the creeper's gonna start to look fatter and fatter, which means he's about to blow up. Then quickly run away, so then the creeper just explodes somewhere else. Then um, if it's deep enough, you might have like a mini mine already made there, so you can just go mining underground. But be careful because he might stop, stop exploding, then he'll go towards you again. So that's a really good trick that me and my brother learned together while playing Minecraft. And this creeper can stand up. So me and Mimi will try to make everything in this Minecraft series and including more. But today I'm just going to show you how to make the Enderman. You are going to need plenty of black bands. Enderman is very big. If you don't want to make him as tall, but that's okay. But you're going to need lots and lots and lots of black rubber bands. You are going to need um, a few purple for his eyes. So about six purple. Um, you will need three C clips, a rainbow loop, and a hook. So let's get started. Okay, so your loom could be in the staggered position, but um, since I'm not doing it in the staggered position, it might be a little harder for you, but I'm going to do mine in square set position. I'm not sure, I'm still thinking if I should do this in square set position or the staggered position. Okay, I'm just gonna do the square set position because I remember it that way. You can do this in a staggered position, but for the, um, when you're looming the body, since the arms and legs will come out separately, um, if you're looming the body, then just make sure you have equal amounts of rubber bands on the pegs. But I'm going to do it in a square set position. It's very similar. So you're going to start off with the arms and legs, obviously. And you're just going to take two rubber bands for each of them. You should make sure your arrows are pointing towards you. And I'm just going to put this enderman right here so you guys can see. You're going to make sure your arrows are pointing towards you. And wherever you want to start, you can start. And you are just going to take double bands and go six times down. So that's one, two, three. If I'm going too fast, then always, you can always pause or rewind. Four, five and six. So you go 
six rubber bands down for the arms and the legs. Then, that's one arm. You can make it longer if you want to, or you can make it shorter. But let me recount. I don't think it's six long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, it's twelve long. It's not six. I was thinking of the body, I think. I think the body is six long. I'm not sure. But you're going to go all the way down on your loom. And just taking two rubber bands again. And you're gonna have to do this four times total. So two arms and then two legs. But right now I'm making one arm or leg, whichever one. So, yeah. And now you're going to take cap band, which is one black band, and you're gonna twist it two times to form three loops. And then you're gonna go inside go underneath and loom it forward go up and go down so you keep going forward all the way and i'll be back with all four of the little strips the two arms and two legs so after i finish this i'll be right back but I need to finish this. Okay, you're gonna need like a pencil or something. I'm gonna use a hook to hold it and I'm just gonna hold it on there. So, you're gonna need four of these total and I'll make four of these and I'll be right back. All right guys, I am back and to you guys, it just repeated. Um, not repeated, just went on, but to me it's been actually quite a couple of hours. I was scared the app was going to shut down, so then um, I wouldn't be able to be to uh, <clears throat> record the video. But um, it didn't shut down, and so I bet my iPad's battery is really low right now, but let's see. Alright, so I have gotten my four strips for the arms and legs for the... Enderman, and um, these are going to be the arms and legs, like I said, and they should both be all going all the as long as this whole strip. Like you should have done all the way down your whole room. So yeah, and now we're gonna start on the body, but we will attach this to the body. So the body is going to be pretty much a rectangle, and then like this. And then we're going to attach the arms and legs later on. So, let me get my bands. Okay. So, the body is going to be like nine bands down. But, anyways, let's start. And make sure your arrow is pointing down right now. And again, you're using double bands. So... You're gonna go down nine times total. So one, two, and then on the third one, you're going to be using your purple rubber bands for the um, eyes. And we will be using three rubber bands for this because we want the eyes to pop out more for the Enderman, sort of like this. So we're going to be using three purple rubber bands for that. So, then you go right here. That's the purple. So that's three. And then you go back to two black rubber bands. So this is your fourth one. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And nine but right now this looks really big but trust me on loom i mean when it comes down it'll be fine it'll be just like this i hope then you're just gonna do black all the way in the middle to the same point so nine rubber bands 
And this is, you're using double bands the whole time, so you can speed off and do this. too fast you can always pause and rewind like I told you before. Okay, so I finished the middle row. It's normal, just like two double rubber bands for that strip. Then we're going to do the same thing as we did on the right side for the left side. So two rubber bands down, plain black. Then you are going to take three of your purple rubber bands. I don't know, two. Three of your purple rubber bands. Sometimes I might say purple rubber bands. I don't know. Sometimes they get tongue tied. Okay, so that's four, five, six, um, seven. that part done. So now what we're going to do is we will attach the arms and legs. So get your arms and legs and on the sixth one down, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. The sixth one down you will place your hands right here. So, on this tag right there, that's one, two, three, four, five. Five from the bottom, the fifth from the bottom. So right here, you're gonna place your arm. Right there. And your loom should look something like this. Then, on the other side, exactly across, you will place the other arm. So, like this. Now, on the bottom, you will place your legs. So, the very last pin, only on the left and right sides. I'll show you what the loom looks like in a minute. Alright. So, this is what you should have so far. And these act like a cap band, so you don't need any cap bands for that. And now you are going to need only a couple more bands. But, you will be using double bands for this part. So where my rubber band go? I lost a black rubber band. Oh well. Okay. So you're going to take double rubber band, double rub rubber bands. Sometimes I get tongue tied, and you're just going to go across the bottom. And these are to hold the strips together, so it's like together, like an Enderman. So you put it across like that. Then. You can either take your finger or your hook and take the middle part of it and just put it over this pit around it. So it should look like this now. Right there. And then you're going to go across again and above that. And then you're going to go across again above that one. And you're going to go across again above that one. You're pretty much going to do it on every peg. But just stay with me for a minute. And for this one, we're going to use purple. So it pops out more 